When the Irish sails away across the sea, leaving me so far away. No, my thoughts will be. Well, when I first went to friend. They, they all sat, well, the old people sat down and, and some, some of me, you know, me uncles and aunts and, and some of the old cousins and sat around with them and they said, yeah, you know, I'm strumming the guitar and they, they, uh, uh, they started singing um, the old, old Hopkins, uh, Rainbow Round, uh, uh, the old Hopkins River. The first song I heard as a child that was distinctively in the modern Aboriginal tradition was Jimmy Little's Royal Telephone. It was on the radio, we lived in a native camp in Bollin, and the radio antenna used to hang over the mulga tree, and I heard that song and I absolutely loved it. Love you. I remember those old people that were left, you know, and, and you know, uh, especially the Kamaganja Choir, it was, it was probably the best known choir in, in Victoria. Uh, they couldn't go to town back in the day, but they could travel from mission to mission. So I think it's tremendously important that we um, capture this modern song history um, because it's, it's part of our history, it's part of our tradition, it's part of how people change their culture and, and adapt to the times and Keep the memories. It, it's important you, you carry on that, that tradition of you know, you, you, know, you, you sing modern songs as well, but these old songs are just so, um, I don't know, so um, rooted in, in the culture and the history of our people, you know. Not many people are recording these traditions. There are very few people recording these traditions. They're not part of the, your standard ethnic ethnomusicological practice, except for, say, Aaron Korn's work with uh, Yothi Indy. Uh, but otherwise, no, we haven't captured those historical songs. Where we all eat, dead on it, it becomes traditional, it becomes a tradition. It becomes songs that the young people sing, you know, uh, from the missions and, and the reserves. Are really records of, of oral history and you know, this is what Aboriginal society always did. Aboriginal society was rich with a song tradition. Yeah.